it's midnight and um, he still hasn't come back so I take it he won't be coming back tonight. Um, I shouldn't have texted but I did send two texts to see if I should start packing his stuff up that's in my closet and to tell him that his dog missed him and, and to tell him that I know that this is there's more to this than me hanging pictures on me hanging words on the wall because he don't care about the core and not one bit. So I asked him what's really behind this, what's really going on. I haven't gotten a response yet, probably won't get one. Um, my heart's breaking. Um, this is hard first night, you know. Um, he's always sitting here over here in his chair when I go to sleep. Um, staring at his phone, playing on his game, whatever, but I can go to sleep knowing he's sitting there and everything's okay. And um, tonight I go to sleep, not in the safest neighborhood, not knowing if anybody's gonna break in on me, if he's gonna come in through the night or what's gonna happen. Um, I'm gonna go to sleep and once I fall asleep, I'm in a dead sleep for the night and anything could happen and I'm scared. So I may sit up a little while longer before I go to sleep. Um, I don't know. Maybe this is the end, maybe this is it. Maybe this is where we grow apart, I don't know. I have a vacation, uh, another couple of days scheduled to go back to the river, but I'm trying to cancel my reservation, even though they said it's past res cancellation time. I emailed the host to see if they could give me a 100% refund because I need that money now because I've only got 21 bucks to my name. And if you see this and you wanna help me, my cash app is dollar sign, L-I-F-E-C-O-A-C-H, B Y M A R A N N B. It's Life Coach by Moran B. Or PayPal or Venmo is at M A R A N N 761. It's at Moran's, Moran 761 or at Moran's Housekeeping, one or the other. But I think it's Moran, at Moran 761. Um, if anybody wants can help me or wants to help me at this time, um, I could use some financial support because I have $21 to my name and no money feed my, that's not even going to feed my daughter tomorrow. And I don't have any work um, for the next couple of weeks lined up. Um, I'm about out of gas. And um, I got mortgage due and the lot built due that we he paid the lot bill and we split the mortgage bill, but now I'm going to have to pay all that on my own and I don't have a clue how I'm going to pay it. So, um, now I have the weight of the world on my shoulders. So it's either putting up with this shit or have the weight of the world on my shoulders. I would rather put up with this shit than have the weight of the world on my shoulders. His being here and knowing he had half the bills paid made life easier for me. I wish he would come back. This is hard. I don't know how y'all go to no contact or how you just cut them off or how you just move on from someone who treats you bad. I don't know how you do that because I don't know how to do that. I know I should move on. I shouldn't care. I should be crying. I should be happy, but I'm not because I miss, I miss, I miss that with the help I do get. I miss having somebody here even though they don't talk to me, I have someone here. I guess it's worth it, you know.